right. So recompositioning after 40 as a woman, is it possible or are your hormones so much of a, in a tank? Is your body so much out of commission that it's just not going to respond to nothing no more? Girl, listen, we got to talk about that here on this channel. We talk about the things that you are concerned about when it comes to being a woman who takes her fitness seriously after the age of 40. Because I don't know about you. But a lot of the content that's out there for women over 40 seems like it's aimed at our mamas, okay? But I can't relate, okay? We are Generation X, we are Xennials, we are Millennials, and our 40 just feels and looks a little different, right? But still, we still got some concerns. So I want to talk about recompositioning after 40. Is it possible? So here's the thing. Let me tell you something. It is. It is possible. But, you know, recompositioning is such a weird thing, right? What people don't realize is that if you want to choose to recomposition, that it's a slow process. When you're first getting started in this game, when you're a newbie and you're just, you know, starting your fitness journey, you just started working out, you started really seriously training, you got your diet together, you got your, your, your weight training, you got your cardio. Yeah, those newbie gains are like a drug bull, okay? The body is just like responding, responding, responding. You're gaining that muscle, you're losing that fat, and it's all coming together nicely, but a little tricky thing happens once you're a little bit more advanced in this game. Now, those of you who are into the weight training thing, you've been doing it for a long time, or you've been consistently training for some time, you know that it's really hard to see those new gains continuing on. The truth of the matter is, is that in order to see some true recompositioning, you're gonna have to take a step back. You're going to go ahead and you're going to have to look at doing phases of fat loss, then phases of lean building, and then repeating that cycle until you're at where you want to be, compositionally speaking. And that could be so frustrating and it also be quite scary because the truth of the matter is in order to put on muscle, you got to gain a little body fat as well. And so many of you are afraid of that process. And then you have some disordered thinking when it comes to dieting. So it's a whole mess. So here are some tips that I want you to go ahead and apply if recompositioning is your thing. That's what you want to do. But before we do that, listen, you better subscribe to this channel right now, honey, and make sure that you hit that like button and add your comments below. What is your goal right now? Are you focusing on recompositioning? Are you feeling that you're frustrated with what you're seeing in the gym, not seeing any results? Go ahead and post them down below. Let's start a conversation about how you can get unstuck. Now, I do have a little something, something for those of you who want to take this fitness thing a little further. Listen, a lot of you... You want those flat abs, right? You want to see that washboard just a little bit. You want that waist to come in just a little bit. Well, listen, girl, you got to get on my email list. And I want you to download my free ebook, okay? It's called Burn That Belly. And in it, I'm teaching you about how to get flatter abs, but to do it through science. All science, no BS, no gimmicks, no fads. You know, we're not about that here. And in addition to that, I'm going to enroll you in my free seven-day e-course that is called Abs versatile baby abs versatile i'm gonna give you the lowdown on how to really get rid of that belly fat using proven methods evidence-driven results-based training and diet tips so make sure that you scan that qr code or you hit up that link down below to get in it today baby so let's go ahead and jump in with these tips so the first thing you got to do if you are completely new at this game and you want to do the recompositioning thing you're in luck because your body will likely respond very positively to seeing yourself losing some fat while gaining some muscle at the same time. Now, the way that you do it is going to be a little bit different than what you're probably doing right now. A lot of women our age, it's like your hormones start doing wacky things. Your body starts doing weird things. And a lot of times I find that women over 40 are starving themselves. You're not eating enough. You're overdoing the cardio. You're not training with weights enough or you're not training heavy enough. So you're not really seeing the results that you want. You're digging yourself into a hole, girl. So the first thing that I need you to grasp is the following. This is the mantra of my company when it comes to how we approach nutrition. That is, you must eat to be lean, eat to be strong, eat to have the body of your dreams. Food is your greatest ally. It is not your worst enemy. So you got to reevaluate how you're eating. If you're afraid of carbohydrates and you barely eat them, guess what? You're not going to see the results that you want to see compositionally because the body does need carbs. Now, that's not to say that low carbs doesn't work. Some of you really do need that. But even with that, looking at ways you can get refeeding in there, doing higher carb days and stuff like that will help you to move your metabolism along a lot better. 
And the biggest culprit when you're trying to do recompositioning is having too low of a deficit. Now, in my experience with thousands of clients I've worked with over the last 25, 26 plus years that I have been a fitness professional, personal trainer, online coach, sports nutrition specialist, is that to see the recompositioning happening, I like to have my clients in somewhat of a deficit. And that doesn't have to be a huge deficit. A lot of times it might be between 10 to 15% below what their maintenance calories are. And we try to keep protein high, having it in about one times their body weight in pounds. Now, if they happen to be a little bit heavier, then that gets skewed a little bit more towards 0.8 or 0.9 times their body weight. It just depends on the person's structure and where their starting point is. But the idea is to try to keep that muscle on and for the new base to gain just a little bit. And that's what the diet is going to come in. And when it comes to dieting, allowing variety in the equation is so important. Listen, if eating the same foods every day helps you stay on plan, honey, do what you got to do. But know that you're not restricted to only eating cardboard flavored food. No, no, no. You got to learn how to not only get the results that you want, but everything that you do to get there, you're going to have to do to maintain it. So teaching yourself how to have things in a smart moderation is smarter than any approach you can ever take. Now, when it comes to that gym training, one of the things you got to do for a lot of women out there is to look at how much cardio you're doing. Listen, baby, you ain't going to be recompositioning nothing if you sit around there killing yourself on the cardio machine. OK, you spend hours upon hours on that treadmill. You spend hours upon hours on that elliptical. You'll be running outside for miles and miles and miles a day and you eat like a rabbit, baby. Listen, you're going to be doing nothing but getting rid of that muscle, okay? And that's not what we want. We want to preserve that tissue, okay? So think about this. Whatever you do to build muscle keeps it in the face of fat loss. Challenging yourself to step outside of your comfort zone, to not be afraid to lift heavy, to push the envelope, to beat your numbers, to go for new PRs. Those are all the things that's going to help you to have recompositioning, or at least at the very least, keep the muscle that you have as you lose fat. So you want to push yourself in that weight room. Don't be afraid to lift heavy. It's not going to make you bulky. If anything, it's really going to help you to have that toned, athletic, and curvy physique that you so desire. And then when it comes to your actual cardio, this is where you want to go ahead and take a back seat when it comes to the over-reliance of cardio in your programming. Cardio is not bad. It's a part of the game. It's a part of the equation. But while you're in this recompositioning phase, don't be afraid to play around with HIIT training or longer intervals. Or even if you do steady state cardio, do it for a shorter duration, 20, 30 minutes, but keep that heart rate up. Aim for about 75, 80, 85% of your max heart rate for the entire duration of that. Me, let me tell you something. Your body is going to thank you for it. This training stuff is not rocket science. It is science, but it's stuff that you can grasp. And a lot of it for you is going to be releasing your mind of the TikTok mentality, of the social media farces, of the lies that are being fed to you about what you need to do to see real results. At least here on this channel, here in my stuff, I want you to know what you need to know to be empowered because the more you understand, the better you can execute. But listen, honey, at this age, we got to be honest here. Hormones play a major role and how your body responds. And I want you to go ahead and watch this next video right over here so we can talk about that. I'll see you over there.